Hello and welcome. In the previous video we found that the conical form of a parabola can be expressed as x minus a all squared is equal to 4p outside of y minus b. Okay, so here we have the vertex form of the parabola and below we have the conical form where the variable p is simply the uh, distance above or below the vertex for the focus and the directrix respectively. So the focus point is expressed as the x-coordinate is a same as the vertex because it's symmetrical about the vertex and the y-coordinate is b plus p and the directrix is a straight line with the equation y is equal to b the vertical coordinate of the vertex minus p but the conical form doesn't just exist for vertical parabolas it also exists for horizontal parabolas as well so for a horizontal parabola I can just swap the variables x and y so instead of y is equal to x minus a I can say x is equal to y and because I've swapped the variables x and y I'm also going to swap the uh, points of the vertex b and a as well so I'm going to write it as y minus b all squared plus a so if I choose an arbitrary point at a and b for my vertex so from the vertex instead of opening upwards this parabola will open up sideways so it will look something like this okay so that's the best my uh, artistic skills can come up with so the line of symmetry about the vertex instead of being vertical will obviously now be horizontal so I can still have a focus point at a horizontal distance of P away from the vertex and uh, let me draw this AB point in a more appropriate spot in fact I shall point to it so that's the vertex AB and the directrix I can draw a nice imaginary vertical line is going to be at a distance P on the outside of the parabola and it shall have the equation X is equal to A minus P okay so it follows then that uh, the conical form of the equation is going to be written as y minus b squared is equal to 4p x minus a and the focus point is going to be at a plus p for the x coordinate so the x coordinate of the vertex plus the uh, distance p and the uh, y coordinate of the focus is still going to be just the y coordinate of the vertex b and the equation for the directrix is going to be x as I've stated x equals a minus p alright so let's do an example
All right, given that a focus point is 3, 0, and the directrix is x is equal to minus 3, let's find an equation that satisfies this condition. All right, so the focus given by a plus p comma b is equal to 3, 0. So that means a plus p is equal to 3 and b is equal to 0. And the directrix given by a is equal to a minus p is equal to negative 3. So we have a case of simultaneous equations that we need to solve here. So I'm going to call this equation 1 and this equation 2. I'm just going to eliminate the variable a by subtracting 2 from 1. So a plus p is equal to 3 minus a minus p is equal to negative 3. Uh, so this minus is outside of the whole equation. So if I now add these two together, the uh, a's will cancel out. p minus minus p is going to give me 2p. And 3 minus minus 3 is going to give me 6. So therefore, p is also equal to 3. And if p is equal to 3, that means a is equal to 0. So this tells me that um, if I were to put this equation into the conical form, I have y minus 0 squared is equal to 4 times 3 outside of x minus 0. And my equation simply is going to be y is equal to 12x. Okay, please give me a thumbs up if you have found this video useful and you better understand now the use of the conical form of parabolas. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.